afternoon folks big Bo here with another very rare small mini class a motorhome value and of course for those of you who are familiar with these you know what you're looking at this is a 2001 safari trek it's the rare one the 24 footer not the 27 footer the 24 foot now this is the last year that safari was their own business of course safari and beaver were the same company they got purchased by Monaco in 2002, and many of the technologies used and the manufacturing process used in this trek right here, that Safari was exclusive for Safari, was used in future Monaco and Holiday Rambler products. 24 foot long, folks. Wow. I mean, folks, I just did a Class B camper van. That was only two foot shorter than this a couple hours ago. Now these little guys, folks, they're kind of a cult following. There's tons of clubs that have rallies every year for safari owners only. I mean, and this one is a just a pristine example of a motorhome you can't find anymore. Only 93,000 miles on it, folks, and that's not much at all for an 18 year old motorhome. And it's been a well cared for 93,000 miles. Generator's running right now. Got a 4K Onan generator. Got a built-in inverter. Notice the picture on the back, folks. Every safari that has these pictures, because they were an option when they were new, were commissioned by an actual artist. This isn't just a print. It's hand-painted and cleared over. And every single one of them is a little bit different. There's no two pictures on the back of safari that are the same. And of course, Safari, you've always got African animals on there since it is a Safari. Look at the outside, folks. No delamination. The tires, I can't read the date code on the tires. They look brand new, knee deep in tread. Still got the tabs on them, but unfortunately, the date codes are on the inside where I can't see them. So the construction of these RVs. Um, were used, like I said, in later model Monaco's and Holiday Ramblers. Nine layer peaked aluminum roof. You've got a metal roof up there, folks. Nine layer stick. Five layer sidewall, five layer floor system. All this is all metal siding. It's smooth metal siding, so you don't have delamination issues like you do with fiberglass, and that's why, I mean, you look at 18 year old fiberglass unit, folks, it's going to be delamming everywhere. Not the case with this metal siding. Aerodynamic front end, windshields are perfect. Got the magic bed, of course, like all the Safari Treks do. That's kind of one of the things they're known for. LumaGuard patio awning. It's got the, the jack leveling jack systems. This is built on the Chevrolet chassis with the work or the workhorse chassis. With the Allison transmission, this is the old one. This is the last year of the 7.4 liter 454 cubic inch Vortec V8. 290 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque. Folks, this little motorhome with that much power runs like a sports car. Or as close to a sports car as you're going to get in a 24 foot motorhome. Power step. Got the generator on, everything turned on on the inside. The inside looks just as good, if not better, than the outside. 5,000 pound trailer hitch, got a backup camera, and much, much more, folks. Let's look inside. Now, folks, I have no doubt, my phones and, internet and email inboxes are about to blow up. Everybody wants small motor homes right now, and unfortunately, we have to buy a hundred big ones for every small one that we find. So I did a 24 foot carry go last night, right before we closed. This morning, I could have sold 10 of those things if I had them and, and somebody left a deposit on it. I mean, it was just absolutely crazy this morning, everybody wanting to buy it. And all it takes is a 10 minute phone call and a credit card to take something off the market. So, which is what happened with that carry go this morning. Okay, folks, 93,479 miles. No check engine lights. Dash looks great. I mean, the seats to be the age that they are are actually in very nice condition. 
got the original TV. It works. I've got it on right now. Of course, it's just picking up static. Um, got pull down shades, got a curtain that goes around the windshield. Dash looks great. No smoke, no pad odors. It does have the opposing sofa floor plan. So this is actually pretty cool. These two sofas make two separate beds. So you can sleep four. However, you've got the power magic bed that lowers down over the sofa. So if you don't lower it down all the way, you can sleep six. Two on the magic bed, two on each sofa. So very versatile floor plan. Of course, I know the majority of you buying this size motor home, it doesn't have a family of five or six. You're, you're, it's just most, more than likely a couple that's going to buy this motor home. So the sofa's making beds you won't even have to worry about. You just push a button. And you've got a queen bed that lowers down from the roof. And this is an electric bed, not 12 volt. So uh, you have a built-in inverter in case you don't want to hook up your shore power and you don't want to run your generator if you need to operate your bed. And it's a queen bed and you can see the headliner on top of it. It's not sagging, no stains, anything like that. And boom. You've got a queen bed there, and then you can still fold your two beds out underneath. Uh, you've got a the Medic Royale two-way RV refrigerator freezer. It's already getting cold. Solid surface countertops. Corian countertops, I should say. In excellent condition. No stress cracks, none of that. You've got a stove top, three burner stove top. You've got a microwave confection oven. You've got ice cold ducted roof air, and folks, it feels delicious in here. I mean, tell you, it is hot outside. Um, you've got a table and chairs, all solid hardwood cabinets, and of course, Safari are built in um, Washington State. So this is all made with genuine hardwoods native to the Pacific Northwest, as all safaris and beavers are. I've got the bed already folded back up. Wow. This is pretty cool. These are almost never in these, but these are actually a factory statue that they put in every safari. Uh, etched mirrors. And this is an amazing amount of room, folks, for a 24-foot motorhome. Wow. This is a microwave confection oven, so you can bake in it as well as, as, as microwave, and you can grill in it. Step back here, got a huge rear bathroom for at least for this size motorhome. Um, and this is just an example how thick the roof system is on these safaris. Look at this skylight, folks. That's six inches thick. That's insulated, nine layer ceiling. And those little pegs, of course, are to hang clothes on if you want to. I don't know why, because you've got a big closet in here right across from it. Thetford RV toilet, solid surface countertops, open this up. It looks like a bed spread, of course, for your uh, bed. Huge closet in here. This is pretty impressive for a 24-foot motorhome, folks. And let's be honest with you. If you're, I know people want a 24-foot, but a lot of people don't realize you get a 24-foot motorhome. The only way you, this is the only way you're going to get a decent-sized bathroom and a queen bed is with this magic bed system because. The only other option is a corner bed, corner bath, and, you, and those things are pretty much a microscopic scopic, uh, bathroom and a, just a full-size bed instead of a queen. So you get a queen bed, you get two sofas, you get a table, and you get everything you need, folks. You've got that dependable, long-lasting 454 V8 with years and years of life left to it. You take care of this motorhome, folks. Keep it serviced. Keep it repaired. It'll last you as long as you want to keep it. I mean, this, these are extremely rare. And this one right here, folks, just like at Carry Go I shot last night, will sell very, very quickly. Real hardwood floors. You know, folks, MSRP in 2001, in 2001 prices, was over $100,000 for this motorhome. In 2001, you could buy a decent Class A diesel motorhome for what this little guy cost when it was brand new. So, obviously... Knew they didn't sell as popular as they wanted to, but you got a quality coach, folks. In a small Class A motorhome, this is the top of the line. If you're looking for a mini Class A motorhome, 
they don't come any better built than this little safari trick. Um, and if you want a high quality, this is as high quality as you can get under a 27 foot RV. In a, in a class A anyway. You know, class B's and B pluses. Now I can, there's some other well built ones too, but there's only one safari trek. 24 foot, good miles, excellent condition, 4K Onan generator, 454 Vortec, got the Allison transmission, workhorse chassis. Wow. Uh, 24.9. They're going to fight over this one, folks. Be prepared to buy this. Be prepared to move fast to buy this because if you don't, you're going to miss it. And I may never have another track this nice and clean for this price again. You know, they quit making these things 06, I think, 07. So, you know, it's not like there's an abundant supply of them. And people looking for these little motor homes are willing to travel hundreds, if not thousands of miles to buy one like this for this price. You know, it's not like a Class A or a Class C that you can go to any RV dealer and find plenty of them. Trex, they didn't build that many of them when they were new, the Safari Trex, and there's certainly that makes them that much more desirable when they're used. These get better fuel mileage in a big Class A, obviously. You're going to get a few miles a gallon better. Um, it drives great. We drove it 300 miles in here. Um, no issues. And let me tell you something, folks. If you've got one of these for sale, and it's as nice as this one, and you want a generous cash offer for it, give us a call. If it's nice, miles, distance, and year model, don't bother me on these treks. I'm a buyer for them if they're nice. If they're not at least at 8.5 out of 10, I don't want it at any price. But if you've got one that's this nice and clean and you want to sell it, you're tired of the scams, Give us a call at 706-965-7929. I don't care if we have to fly somebody to California. We will, uh, we're will. we not scared, folks. We're not scared to put a, uh, uh, an offer on it. And if you take the offer, we'll come get it. Anyway, or we've got this one right here, folks, 24.9. What you get, of course, is this absolutely beautiful, pristine 2001 uh, Safari Trek. And it's the 24-footer not the 27 like you see like the other ones you see online 24 they made very very few of these as a matter of fact if I can find the remember where the build sticker is at I'll show you exactly what this was um, I just gotta find it <laughs> here we go if you look right here right there 24 trek 24 foot trek oh by the way it's only got 475 hours on the generator so very rare very clean call us right away 706-965-7929 please don't try to come down here to look at it unless you call us first because much as I would rather prefer to meet who we do business with and everybody come look at a used unit before you buy it, chances are whoever buys this is going to buy it sight unseen. So please call ahead to make sure it doesn't have a deposit. I've had this morning on that 24-foot carry go for the same price, and this is a whole lot nicer. I've probably had 50 phone calls, and that's no exaggeration, folks. I've probably had twice that many emails. And, you know, uh, used RVs are hard to find, period. Much less small ones, much less small ones in this nice of condition. If you're interested, please call us right away. You can email us, but call for faster response, 706-965-7929. Um, you can email us, sales, S-A-L-E-S, at parkwayrvcenter.com. Of course, my website is parkwayrvcenter.com. We're family owned and operated for 50 years. We're primarily a used RV dealer. That's 90 something percent of our sales. Uh, we sell nothing but used RVs. We don't have any brands of new RVs. And for what these things cost, folks, I mean, this thing was $100,000 new. Now, in today's prices, that's probably closer to $200,000 because new RV prices have almost doubled 
since the since the millennium changed. So in other words, 2,000 will cost $100,000, and 2,000 is about 200,000 today. So if you was to buy a comparable unit today, it would be 200 grand or better. Or you can buy this one that's got tons of life left to it for 24.9, and you get this unit checked out, ready to go. We don't check them out until we sell it, so you're looking at it just how it came in. Uh, my certified RV techs, once you pay for the unit, will it will get going to line to get checked out in the back. Right now, we're looking at a week and a half to two weeks, give or take a few days. Um, and of course, you want to verify that lead time with your salesperson before you decide to buy it. And um, right there, we'll tell you um, how long it's going to take us to get it ready once you buy it. And uh, we're going to go through this unit. We're going to go through an extensive RV component checkout. And of course, I've always checked the roof air, the fridge, and the generator, and the lights, and the magic bed, and all that stuff works great. And obviously, we drove it 300 miles here. That part's fine. But, you know, we're going to go one step further, check the awning, check the jacks, check the plumbing, check the propane, check the appliances, check the fridge on gas and electric. We're going to check the microwave, the, toast, the uh, confection oven. We're going to check the inverter. Um, we're going to check the 12 volt systems and much, much more folks. And for a copy of everything that we inspect and repair, if needed for the price that you pay, contact our sales department. Again, call for better service and quicker service 706-965-7929. Um, and they'll send you over a copy of the list so you can see everything that we inspect and repair for the price you pay if needed. And they can tell you the current lead time for a Class A checkout. Um, once this unit's been checked out, my service manager, Gordy, great guy, you're going to love him. He's been the best service manager we've ever had. Is going to spend some time with you. And uh, it's going to look through it. Of course, he's happy with the, with the cleanness of it. He's happy with the mechanical condition. He is going to call you to set up a, an appointment. Now, only he... Because we've had some confusion about this lately, folks. The only person that can set an appointment is the service manager himself. I can't set an appointment. Owner can't set an appointment. Your salesperson can't set an appointment. Your finance manager can't set an appointment. only person that can set an appointment is the service manager for either pickup or delivery if we're going to deliver this. And, yes, we do offer nationwide delivery. Once he'll set up a mutually beneficial time, please show up on time, and the RV tech that checked it out, that knows it better than anybody, will spend some time with you, go over everything with you, show you everything works on it that's on our list, answer any questions you have, give you tips, tricks, and pointers, and show you anything he had to do as far as repairs. Now, folks, again, no matter what I have to spend to make this unit pass our inspection, the price is $24.9, even if we lose money. And that has happened. Um, the reason we do that, of course, it's common sense. Uh, first of all, I got 140 plus used RVs out here. I only got a handful of RV techs. Those guys aren't cheap. They're hard to find. They're very expensive to keep. So if I have to pre-check 140 units, then I'm gonna have to hire a lot more help in the shop. That makes my overhead go up. When my overhead goes up, prices go up. Nobody benefits from that. Second reason I don't pre-check them, and this is even makes even that much more common sense, folks. We're a high volume, very busy used RV dealership. I have at least 200 sets of customers a week that come on our lot and walk through our units. Me, most of them are unescorted because we're real big on not having to go through a sales office and get a, a high pressure salesperson to follow you around the lot. During business hours, everything's open. Most everything's priced on the windshield. Haggle-free prices, you can look at your own leisure. The downside to that is, folks, people not saying all buyers, and I'm not being ungrateful because I really appreciate the amount of people that come out here and look every week, but not everybody respects other people's property. Um, people smoke in them. I've caught customers walking in and out with cigarettes, cigars, and pipes. I've caught kids in here jumping up and down on furniture, treating it like a jungle gym, spilling drinks, spilling juice and Cokes everywhere, uh, food, uh, pets. People left their pets in here. They used the bathroom. I've caught it all. So what I'm getting at, folks, I've caught people robbing parts for their own personal coaches out here. Um, I mean, it's just ridiculous. And this is, most of this is in the last few months. So for us to check one out, put it on the lot for two or three weeks, until it sells, 
we're just going to check it out again because chances are something got torn up here on the lot from people walking in and out of it. And, you know, people go in one, they fold beds out, they bend, they, they try to open and close doors, they bend them, they break cabinets because they don't understand how they work. I mean, and I, again, I'm not trying to gripe, but it's ridiculous the amount of money. I'm talking about multiple thousands of dollars we spend a year on damage to our RVs caused by customers. I mean, I'm talking over $10,000. But folks, I've had customers come out here and find the keys, crank them up, and just leave it running and walk off. And of course, folks, it just sits there and run out, and run out of gas sometimes because we got several acres of inventory here, and we can't always happen to walk by one and hear it running. I mean, I, I could go on and on, folks. Believe me. But it doesn't do any good to pre-check them because we tried that, and because we just have to pre-check, we have to check them again. So we're doing double the work for the same amount of profit. It doesn't make sense. So we don't check them out till we sell them. Um, that's why, and if, and if you look at it from our point of view, I'm sure you can 100% understand why we do that. And that's the way a lot of big dealers are. So if you've got a question about that, or if you want to buy this trek, call us again. Our phone number, which is answered 24 seven is 706-965-7929. Here's got the edge glass and the shower. Um, and, and we have an answering service that picks up after hours. They have basic information. If they can't help you, they will definitely get your contact info to my non-commissioned sales department who will call you back the next business day. Our website is parkwayrvcenter.com. I got a 24-7 operator answered chat system there as well. And just like my call service, they have basic information. If they can't help you, then they will certainly send your contact info to my sales department, who again will call you back the same day or the next business day, depending on what time of day that you're on the website. ParkwayRVCenter.com. Save it to your favorites. I uh, do have very limited financing on this if you need it. Uh, as you know, if you and I haven't really touched base on this, but let me tell you something, folks. If you're looking at something older than an 04 or 2005 model, be prepared to pay a several thousand dollars down. Most banks don't like to do underneath a 2005 model. I have one lender that will, but they want a huge chunk of money down to finance an older RV. Keep that in mind. I know it's crazy, but you can, if you're not wanting to spend a lot of money down, if any, of course, you've got to pay at least 10% no matter what you buy. But if that's all you're wanting to pay, you may have to go to a 2004 or 5 model and newer to get approved with only 10% down. It, it, it's weird. RV financing is totally different than cars and, and boats and stuff like that. And, you know, of course, my experts can help you out with that. That's what they do for a living, my finance manager and my salespeople too. So uh, they can help you out, answer questions about that. But now if you do want to finance this, be prepared to spend several thousand dollars down to get approved. And that's with approved credit only, of course. 706-965-7929 is our office number one more time. Nationwide deliveries available, financing available with approved credit and down payment. If you got a question how much you need to pay down, uh, contact my sales department. 706-965-7929. Go to my website, parkwayrvcenter.com. See my entire inventory of RVs, more arriving every day. And I've got several out here that's not posted online, probably more than several. And uh, I'll be putting online as quick as I can. But like I said, uh, I have other responsibilities like I've handed on other videos here. And a lot of times when you work for a family dealership like this, you wear a lot of different hats. So a lot of times I'm not able to take videos and pictures and put them online as much as I would want to. Uh, so always best, if you don't see what you're looking for on the website, call my sales department. Tell them what you're looking for. They're non-commissioned, so just be honest with them. Tell them what you're looking for price or payment-wise. Uh, they'll help you out the best they can. They don't get paid commission, so they're not going to try to put you in something that's not right for you. Uh, because they get paid the same whether you buy one from us or not. So they're here for your benefit. Um, they get paid salary, no commission. Other dealers pay commission. We don't. We have no haggling prices. This price is haggle-free firm, 24-9. If you want it checked out, ready to go, you also get 21 nights of free camping, up to seven nights at a time, at select RV resorts nationwide. 
24-9, you get the walkthrough demonstration, you get the inspection, you get a drive-out tag, you get a starter kit with your camping essentials, instructional DVD or more, or we have option B, which is strictly as is, take the unit, good with any potential bad, no inspection, no walkthrough, no, no uh, free camping, uh, no demonstration, just jump in and go price only. As long as you understand, folks, as is means you are a, the buyer is 100% responsible for any current or future repairs the RV needs. And folks, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to turn you off from buying RVs, but RVs, if you're buying an RV, expect to never work on it. You can't even buy a brand new one and expect never to work on it. That's just the nature of the beast. You will constantly have something on an RV that you have to repair or replace. Even after we check it, folks, we'll make sure everything's good now, but down the road, you will have to do repairs on RVs. That's, it's like buying a houseboat. It's the same concept. Um, you know, there's, and, and I hate that it's that way, but a lot of people don't understand that RVs are luxury items, and there are times you're going to have to spend some money on them to keep them in tip-top condition. Thank you for watching, folks. Uh, if you have any questions, call us, email us, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. This one's going to sell quickly. Uh, like I said, that carry go sold in 12 hours or 14 hours. This one right here probably sell just as fast. Um, nationwide delivery is available. 50 year family owned and operated since 1968. We've always been here for you, always going to be. No better testimony than you can say than 50 years family owned and operated in this industry. Because we've seen a bunch of RV dealers come and go, and we're still going strong, folks. We sell almost 600 used units a year. Come see why. Our prices, our customer service, and the quality of our used RVs. After half a century in business, our customers deserve and expect the best. So that's what we provide you all at a very affordable price. Thank you again, folks.